All right, Sean Stepner, Joe Biscaglia with you as the first round of the NFL draft is now in the books. And as expected, Joe, the Buffalo Bills quiet on Thursday night. You know, Rex Ryan and Doug Whaley over the past couple of weeks, they said over and over they didn't expect trading into the first round. And a lot of people said maybe it was a smoke screen. Well, there were no smokes screened on Thursday uh, from the Buffalo Bills. In fact, Whaley said that they received no calls uh, asking if they wanted to trade back in the first round. Yeah, they really lacked ammunition to move up even if they wanted to. So it was really a tough sled for them to try and move up to get to that level. So instead, they just sat idly by and allowed the board to kind of dictate. And now we, we kind of have a better glimpse about what we could expect going into tomorrow, day two of the draft rounds two and three. Yeah, and you look at uh, round two, the Bills will select first on Friday at number 50 overall. And talking about trades, they possibly will trade down because they only have six picks in this 2015 NFL draft. So possibly they want to trade out of number 50 and gather more picks for the rest of the way. But if they stay at 50, where do you see them targeting? Well, it all depends on how the rest of the offensive line kind of shakes out because they they fell prey a little bit at the end of the first round. But I still think there's some quality guys out there like a Penn State Donovan Smith an Oregon Jake Fisher, South Carolina's AJ Cannon. All of these players are going to be available in that second round range. And if one of them just so happens to fall down to 50, they could be in good shape. Now, if the offensive line, all if all the avenues get taken away, then I think they could look to defense, whether it be defensive end, defensive back. But I think in there, uh, what they want more than anything is the offensive line to drop to them. All right, so if we take a look at maybe a broader perspective of this draft, Bills excluded, obviously, they didn't have a pick. Uh, the biggest names, Jameis Winston, Marcus Mer Mariota, the quarterbacks go 1-2 overall to the Bucks and the Titans, respectively. And the Jets at 6 get Leonard Williams, who the Bills will have to deal with going forward in the AFC East. Yeah, that's right. Jameis Winston going to Tampa Bay. That was that was in, written in permanent marker by that point, really three months ago. But Marcus Mariota going to Tennessee, there was a lot of speculation about whether or not he would actually be the pick there or if they, were, if they would trade it away to Philadelphia or Cleveland. That ended up not being the case. Tennessee stood pat. And then, yeah, you're right, Leonard Williams, he is a low to deal with down there. A lot of people thought he was the best defensive player in the draft and even though the Jets didn't have a need at that position, they went best player available, took Williams, and you're right, the Bills are going to have to deal with him for a lot of years. Lots more to come from one Bills drive on Friday. Again, the first Bills pick, number 50 overall in round two. We will have you covered on WKBW.com and on Channel 7. For Joe, I'm Sean. We'll see you later.